So a few months ago, Microsoft announced a partnership with Valve VR as well as Oculus Rift. And I said at the time that I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in the future we get an Oculus Rift headset that works with the Xbox One. And whenever they made this partnership announcement, they also showed off the capability of playing Xbox One games through your PC like in a virtual room through the Rift headset. And also they announced that every Oculus Rift is going to come packaged with an Xbox One controller. But some people laughed at the idea that, you know, Xbox One would be capable of even doing Oculus VR, but it appears that that idea isn't so far-fetched. This coming from the Oculus Vice President, Nate Mitchell, he was doing an interview and he was asked, was the Xbox One powerful enough to deliver a VR experience? And here's what he said, quote, that's the thing, you can absolutely deliver a great VR experience on Xbox One with the hardware that's in the Xbox One. He went on to say, though, that it's been in conversation, but don't expect it to come anytime soon because they're nowhere near an announcement at this point. He says their entire attention is making sure that they deliver a great experience reliably on Windows and that adding Xbox One or any other platform for that instance, whether you're talking about Mac or Linux, would complicate things. So the entire experience would be different than what they're looking at targeting right now. So right now the entire focus is on Windows. We also learned this week that soon PCs are going to start being produced that are labeled as Oculus ready. So if you're in the market for a PC, you're looking to also pick up a Rift some point down the road, they're going to be labeled that it can handle it. Uh, and we also found out that they do not expect Rift to be any less than $300. So we still don't know an exact price point, but they're throwing that out there saying don't expect it to be any less than $300. And uh, we also found out that Microsoft and Oculus made a deal to bring an official Minecraft version to the Rift. But also this week, the people in charge reiterated the points that I've been making for a while about VR in general. Uh, Zuckerberg got up there, Mitchell got up, uh, and stated that this might be slow taking off. And they're not expecting this to just blow up overnight. And the reasons they listed were the same ones we've been talking about. The price point is going to be difficult for a lot of people and also you have to have the content there for people to justify laying down that money in order to get this sort of experience and of course some people just aren't going to be interested in having a headset strapped on so if you're looking at what sony is doing with playstation vr it's really not that hard to see how you also couldn't have Oculus show up at some point on the Xbox One. Uh, the consoles, as we know, as we've been told by multiple developers, really are not that different when they come to power. And we've debunked that 50% more power claim years ago. But also the PlayStation VR, in order to get it to process what it's doing on the VR, it actually has a separate unit, a processing unit, that attaches to the PS4 that helps it render. So if the Xbox does need more juice, they could certainly go down a similar path and uh, take that route if need be. So if you want to read more about it, several stories showing up on VGN this week. I'll leave links down below. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh.